Ever see these anti-gun groups that have the word doctors or medical professionals in their names, and they somehow come out and say things like doctors or medical professionals or health professionals support gun control because they see bad things that happen with guns? Ever see some of that stuff? Well, I have got a rebuttal for you you're not going to want to miss. And the doctors in America who hate guns are not going to like it. Trust me on this one. Stay tuned. Hey folks, I'm Mark Smith, host of the Four Boxes Diner, proud American gun owner, constitutional attorney, member of the United States Supreme Court Bar, and New York Times best-selling author. If you haven't subscribed to the Four Boxes Diner Second Amendment channel, please do so. Show your love for the right to keep and bear arms, and please help us. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers as fast as possible. We think it'll make a big difference with the uh, out social media algorithms out there. Okay. Every now and then we all pick up the newspaper or we've looked on the internet or on uh, social media and we've seen these kinds of anti-gun, you know, uh, screeds, if you will, like a letter to congressmen or the Senate uh, by a bunch of doctors, you know, um, saying things like, we need gun control, we're doctors, we're medical professionals, we're health professionals, we're nurses, whatever. Uh, and we think that we need to have more gun control because guns do bad things to bad people. Now... Here's the one point I want to make. I got nothing against doctors or the medical profession or the health profession, okay? I'm not going to beat them up per se. But I do want to give you a single point, a powerful point, that has not been used enough and is demonstrably true based on incredibly credible sources. And what is that? It turns out, you see, and this is not my statistics. These are statistics from the top medical school in America. Johns Hopkins. Johns Hopkins Medical School is the number one medical school in America, in my view, in most people's views. The only one that arguably is close to it, as best I can tell, is Harvard. But you're really looking at Johns Hopkins and Harvard. And I know many people who had a choice between going to one medical school versus another chose Johns Hopkins in Baltimore because they thought it was superior in terms of medical schools and medical educations. Okay, with that said, why am I talking about Johns Hopkins and why do I want you to know about that? And why do I want you to know about the medical school? Well, it turns out that a study done by the Johns Hopkins Medical School back in 2016 said that and found that, ready? Medical errors, medical errors, and I'm going to put a link to the study down below. Medical errors are the third leading cause of death in the United States. Did you hear what I just said? Johns Hopkins Medical School, Johns Hopkins Medicine. Now, how many numbers are we talking about in terms of death? Well, here's what we're talking about. According to the study, they found approximately 250,000 deaths a year. I want to repeat that, and I'm going to put it into context, and then we're going to put it in the context of so-called gun-related deaths. I'm going to get to there in just one moment. 250,000 people died of medical errors. And by the way, there's some evidence that the number may be closer to some number over 400,000 Americans die of medical errors every year. But Johns Hopkins Medical, according to the study I'm going to link to, and by the way, this was reported not just by Johns Hopkins, but by CNBC. Now, CNBC, this is the headline from CNBC back in 2016. CNBC reported back in 2016 when this report came out, the third leading cause of death in the United States most doctors don't want you to know about. That's CNBC. I can assure you that CNBC and NBC don't like guns. Okay? They don't like you having guns. That's my best guess based on how I see they, them doing reporting on the gun space. So Johns Hopkins reports 250,000 people die every year in the United States of medical errors. Some studies go upwards of over 400,000 Americans dying every year of, of, of medical errors. This Johns Hopkins study was picked up by the mainstream press, including CNBC, which in my view is generally considered anti-gun. That's my general guess based on the reporting. Okay, now with that context, I now want to tell you why this is so important. What's very important is, as best I can tell from the Center for Diseases Control, you know, the ones that call um, gun, viol gun violence an epidemic, well, here's from the CDC's National Center for Health Statistics. Now, I pulled this off for, I think this is 2021 data. I'll put a link to it down below. Again, 
I think you get the point here. I'm not trying to compare every specific date. It's not what I do. I'm not a statistical guy. I can be, but I mostly focus on the legal stuff because I think that's very important for me to do. But here's what's interesting. Leading causes of death in the United States, according to the CDC. Number one, heart disease. Almost 700,000 people die every year of heart disease. 692,000. Actually, it's 696,000. Almost 700,000 people die every year of heart disease. Number two is cancer. 602,000 people a year uh, die every year uh, of cancer in the United States, 600,000. COVID-19, this is, a again, 2021 data. They had 350,000 deaths, uh, accidents, unintentional injuries. They had 200,000, stroke, 160,000 deaths, chronic lower respiratory diseases, probably a lot of smokers in their category, 152,000, Alzheimer's, 134,000, diabetes, 102,000. So, and it goes on and on and on. Here's what's interesting, though. In the list of uh, 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 right, in the list of causes, uh, leading causes of death in the United States, according to the CDC, if you take that 250,000 med- deaths by medical errors, right, and you put that in this list, indeed, the third, well, the third largest cause of death, assuming it's a 250,000 death number, the third lar- largest cause of death in the United States is medical error. Now, let's put this in perspective. I took the Guardian which is definitely not good on guns. I mean, they're not even American paper. Uh, they, the, I think the Guardian does a pretty good job of reporting, by the way. I actually kind of like the paper, but they're not good on guns. And the best evidence you know they're not good on guns is the sentiments I'm going to read here about 2021 data involving gun, quote-unquote gun violence, which we know is a propaganda term. It doesn't exist. Here's what they write. This is from the CDC. This is the Guardian newspaper talking about the CDC. It says the CDC, this is about CDC reports, It says the CDC reported that gun-related homicides and suicides both climbed by more than 8% in 2021. Fine. Here's what's interesting. Quote, firearms caused, hear me, hear that? (laughs) Come on. Firearms are an object. They don't cause anything. People cause things, not firearms. Firearms caused 47,000 homicide and suicide deaths. You see how they do it? They always blend suicides and homicides. There's always far more suicides than homicides. So again, firearms caused 47,000 homicide and suicide deaths uh, in 2021. Of that, 20,000 were homicides and 26,000 were suicides in the United States. So the point is, here, every time you see doctors or anything relating to doctors, your first point, of course, should be, that, listen, before you start talking about gun control, you doctors, you healthcare professionals, you nurses, whatever it is, why don't you get your own house in order? Why don't you solve for the 250,000 deaths you cause every year in the medical profession for medical errors? The third leading cause of death is not firearm-related anything. It's medical errors. And this is not Mark Smith telling you. This is Johns Hopkins Medical School, the best medical school in the country. So the bottom line is this, whenever you're on social media and you see refer- you see some letter from a doctor's organization, even assuming that's a real doctor's organization, one never knows, but let's assume those are real, your response should be, and I'll put the links down below, you should link to these studies from Johns Hopkins and say, before you start taking away our constitutional rights and Second Amendment rights, why don't you get your own profession in order? Why don't you spend time saving the lives of 250,000 Americans that die at the hands of the medical profession every year due to medical error? Why don't you fix that social problem first, CDC? And why is the CDC, by the way, not listing medical error on their list of number of deaths? Why are they not listed? If you know from Johns Hopkins there's 250,000 Americans dying every year from medical error, why is the CDC not tracking that data? Why is that not on here? What is the CDC worried about? Why won't they do it? Inquiring minds would like to know. Okay, so... There you have it. Okay, hope you learned a little bit something. I know this was a little bit geeky on the statistical front, but I think it's an important fact for you to know out there so you can use it in your social media and your conversations with other people because we do see these doctor groups out there popping up and we better have a response. Okay, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so and we'll see you soon here at the Four Boxes Diner. Orders up, table 2A.